Hey, thanks for joining me again for another episode. So you remember we left off last time I had finished up a couple walls and I've got this uh, area right here which is the inner hatch where they enter and exit. And I want to put a wall here on the other side and you know there's the curve there of the ship. So I want to put a wall here and I need to use the uh, existing wall here right here and I'm going to take this wall and I'm going to trace it on a piece of styrene. So for starters I'm just going to lay it down here and just trace it out with the pencil so I have my uh, shape here. So there you can see and now I've gone and I've cut it out along the uh, pattern that I drew and you can see here that it's an exact match to the piece that I copied. So I also want to put a little control panel here that would open and close the door and there's another photo etch piece here but it goes inside so what I want to do is copy it on a piece of styrene. I've cut out a little square I traced the photo etch on a piece of quarter millimeter styrene and you can see there it's the same size and I got these little holes here that I want to put in my styrene. So what I've done is I've used this needle here and just poked through the photo etch into my styrene to mark where I need to drill out some holes, which I'm going to do right here. And I'm drilling these out with a uh, 0.3 millimeter drill bit. And you can see those holes there drilled out. And it's pretty much a match for that photo etch piece as you can see right there and this piece is going to go roughly about there maybe a little higher actually I've marked where the uh, panel is going to go and you can see how it fits nice and neat right inside there and I've gone and I've painted this again with the uh, Vallejo sand primer and I've also done a little painting on the control panel and you can see on the wall where I've done some cutouts for lights and when I put the control panel up into position here the holes will just be over those cutouts and I've painted the back side just like the photo etch with some clear blue and clear red so that when light shines through they will light up with those colors so I've glued my piece of styrene the panel in place and I also cut out a circle of styrene and used one of the decals left over of a speaker and put it above and you can see when I shine a light through there you get the blue and red color from the uh, clear paints I put on the back side of my styrene. Now this piece, the existing wall piece, I need to paint the back side. Uh, it's got some really bad flashing here and it's got the little pegs from the fire extinguisher sticking out so I need to sand it all down smooth so I can prime and paint it. And I've done that now and again I've primed it and I painted it with the uh, Vallejo Sam primer and uh, pretty happy with how this has come out. And I also painted the back side of the door to match the front and here is the uh, entry hatchway. I have another piece of styrene here which I have painted with primer and then black paint and I'm going to be using this to make light boxes to go behind the uh, panels for my lighting. So I've cut out some pieces here to make a little box that's going to go around the back side for this wall I just made. And you can see I framed it up with the little pieces I had cut and I have this piece which will just fit right over the top like so. And I've glued a SMD LED inside there into position and you can see it's all glued and attached and sealed up. And I have also done the same to the walls that I did last video. Um, I also did this little board here. I have wires going to a pigtail so it's all self-contained and I'll put the wall in position and then just plug it in underneath the floor. And I've also done the same here, light box for this other wall and they go to a little board I did with some resistors and wires and a little pigtail here and again all self-contained so that it'll just fit into the floor 
and then my little pigtail will plug in to its power source beneath the floor. And here again is the entry hatchway lit up using the light box I made. And here you can see the other two walls in position lit up with the lights inside the little light boxes that I did. Now we're moving on to the communication center and there's a little monitor here there's some controls here that'll need to be replaced and a speaker right there and some other controls but the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on this uh, monitor up top and I'm gonna start to uh, remove that from the console so that I can backlight it and put in a screen and I've got it all cut out and sanded down nice and smooth and I've got these two photo etch pieces here, which go right here. Um, I have a photo etch speaker, which drops right there. And then I have these other two panels that go on the sides right there. I've gone through and I've sanded down these two areas, sanded down for the speaker. And the photo etch pieces will just drop in like so. The speaker here. Then I've got these two panels which go up top here over the areas that I sanded. And then there's these two photo etch pieces that are just going to drop in, if I don't drop it anywhere else, that are just going to drop in to the uh, console right there. And here we have all of them in position where they will be sitting. So I've cut out underneath here for these panels and you can see when I shine a flashlight you can see the light coming through the little holes in the photo etch. And I'm going to mark through these photo etch pieces where I need to drill holes because I'm going to be using fiber optics in this particular situation. And I'm using one and a half millimeter fiber for the large holes and you can see it fits in there nice. And for the smaller holes, I'll be using three quarter millimeter fiber. And I'm doing that because I'm going to have them colored and blinking. So the fibers are going to run to some blinking LEDs. So I'm going to start out by drilling out the uh, holes here. And I've got them all drilled out, as you can see. And again, one and a half millimeter for the large holes and three quarter millimeter for the smaller holes and you can see that my fiber fits right through the hole there and I'll just pull it back just behind the photo etch so that it won't come through the uh, decals which are going to go over the front of the photo etch but the uh, fiber optic will light up through the decal and be blinking so I've primed everything with uh, some Tamiya white primer and I've gone and I've painted the console my base color of the uh, Tamiya sand primer and I've taped it up here and I need to paint this stripe down the center so I've gone and I've airbrushed that with uh, some Vallejo green sky and you can see how that stripe looks down the center And I've painted these pieces with flat aluminum from Tamiya. And the uh, speaker I did with a Vallejo brass color. And those will obviously go onto the console. And I need to paint the inside of the monitor portion first. So I've masked off the uh, monitor portion here. And that will also be painted as well with the uh, Vallejo green sky. And then I need to paint some aluminum around the very edge frame. So I've got that all done, the sky and the aluminum on the uh, edge frame of the monitor. And I've painted the back of the uh, photo etch pieces again with my clear paints. And those are not painted because I will be having the uh, fibers running through there. So everything is glued in place, painted. Um, you can see how the decals are on those panels there, but not the upper panels. Because of the fibers running through there, I'm going to run the fibers first 
and then put the uh, decals over the fibers. And you can see the uh, screen that we picked here with the planet and it's quite washed out when it's backlit. And I have these little pink gels that when you put it behind that screen, it really brings out the saturation. So I'm going to mount these gels behind the uh, piece there. And I've just put a couple drops of super glue there. And when it's off, it's nice and saturated. And when I add my light, it stays pretty saturated as well. Much more than it was before I had placed the gels inside there. So using the uh, styrene, I'm going to make another box to backlight the uh, panel and the monitor. And I've cut out a piece here that I'm going to use for starting to create the box for my monitor. And you can see that the styrene, no light leaks through there. It's With the primer and the black, it's a complete light blocker. And I've glued another 0603 SMD warm white this time, LED, into this because the planet's red, so I'm going to use a warm light to make it even redder with my gels and you can see how it looks there lit up with the uh, LED inside of my little light box and it looks pretty nice it has nice color to it and it doesn't look all washed out so now I've built a little box and put some diffusion inside there for these panels and put another pair of 0603 SMD cool white and the fibers will be running into those holes up here. As with the other walls, I cut out a little piece of circuit board here that I'm going to be wiring everything up to behind it. And I've run my monitor wires with my resistors and the wires from the uh, control panel backlight into this board, again with a little pigtail connector, a 1.25 millimeter JST connector. And here is the entire communication console lit up minus the uh, fiber optics. And here is that wall in position as well with the uh, other wall next to it. So that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, next episode I'll be moving on to the circuit board wall which also has an alarm in it. And that's going to be a lot more challenging. So until next time, thanks for watching. Hey, if you like watching my videos, please feel free to give them a like. And so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, click subscribe.